How you guys doing today? Welcome to Traveling with Bruce on a Friday. How are you guys? Still trying to get set up here. I've had a bit of fun today. You may have noticed some of you folks. Uh, <laughs> I uh, had a little uh, test run this this uh, morning. My well, my morning, my time earlier this afternoon. Trying out some new software for my channel, and I'm uh, still having issues with it. Uh, not a technical guy, so uh, I do the best I can with what I know. And uh, uh, on the air uh, uh, earlier today for about 14 minutes, and a few of you were there. <laughs> it turns out it was kind of handy that a few of you joined in because I was able to use you as guinea pigs to say, hey, how does this look? How does this picture look to you? And can you hear me all right? And I finally got rid of the echoes and the triple echo, and I don't know what was going on. Uh, but I tried to uh, go on the show today, this show, with the uh, the OBS software that I have, but um, up until about 40 minutes ago, I was running into all kinds of technical problems, and uh, the uh, the YouTube uh, channel and the uh, the software um, the the bit rate wasn't right, and the uh, there was warning flashes coming from YouTube all over the place saying your your uh, your uh, your live stream is is uh, very bad quality. Uh, you might have a bunch of delays. I'm going, oh no, no, I don't want to do that. So I did a test run on my internet. It's fine, and so I'm back to the old system for this show, just to uh, make sure that I can deliver the picture and the sound. <laughs> It'll work, but uh, this other one, uh, it's going to take a bit more practice on my end to figure out exactly how to use it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out ways so that when I talk to you guys, um, if I'm talking to you about a particular cruise ship or a particular port of call or whatever it is, I'd like to be able to, on the fly, uh, just uh, pop a picture up. It might be that I might be sort of over here, and then a picture will pop up over there of what I'm talking about for you, or a piece of video might pop up there, and I can do that live as I you know, interact. But I'm a one-man band here, and I have to do it all myself. And uh, the last thing I want to do is screw up the uh, screw up the main picture and not get your comments and uh, miss you know miss all of that and uh, and and be disjointed and, and then be all flustered with what's going on and then if we run into internet issues and uh, and download issues and upload issues uh, I'm lost I'm just lost so uh, bear with me while I keep experimenting and trying to build out this channel and and work out the uh, the uh, the uh, you know the glitches and try to improve the quality of the broadcast and uh, kind of go from there. So there you have it. That's uh, what happened today. I noticed the video has been viewed like 60 times. I think I got five thumbs up. <laughs> Just wearing my old sweatshirt, my hair's all mushed up and I uh, wasn't expecting to go on the air, but uh, yeah, it turned out that way, what can I say? So anyway, welcome to the channel. Those of you who've uh, never been here before, uh, welcome as first timers. We love talking about cruise ships here with Traveling with Bruce. We like talking about cruise ship vacations, cruise ship, uh, ports of call, deals, uh, you name it. Today, I'm going to talk about some repositioning deals that are uh, coming. I'm um, looking forward to that. I just noticed my picture here on my phone. Something went wrong. Tap to retry. We'll see what's going on if it's just my telephone. Uh, my phone says it's okay. Um, I'm back again. Hopefully, my picture's okay with you today. You guys let me know if there's any issues with my uh, with my photo and my audio today uh, on, on what's happening. Anyway. Um, Today, I want to talk about some repositioning cruise deals I came across. I also found a very interesting cruise I'm going to mention today, uh, and we'll kind of go over that. I'm also here to answer any questions any of you might have about cruising, uh, any topics you want to talk about, anything you want to bring up on uh, on going on a cruise. I noticed that uh, the Bliss is getting tons and tons of press wherever it goes. Every time it comes into uh, Port City, the, uh, the news crews come out, and uh, the local television station comes out, and the headlines say something like, largest ever cruise ship to visit so-and-so pulls in today you know this kind of thing and uh, it started in halifax and then they went down to boston and new york and then to miami and then through the uh, panama canal and all the way up the west coast and of course everywhere it goes the bliss is the talk of the town and why not it's a billion dollar uh, machine that uh, you know has got a lot of people buzzing about it. it's got a lot of us buzzing about it and uh, I know that some of you are booked on that ship uh, between, uh, you know, sooner and later. Uh, you're quite looking forward to getting on sometime, someday, someday. I'd like to be on it myself. So uh, 
uh, that's the talk of the uh, the uh, the uh, internet today on the uh, cruise ship side of things. Uh, not too much else really going on today, as far as announcements goes. I I try to scan the news uh, for you. If there's anything that uh, you know we need to really cover, um, there are uh, you know a number of ships in refurbishment right now, which we talked about yesterday, and there's uh, a number of new ships coming out later this year still, including the Celebrity Edge, of course, and. Uh, um, a bunch of uh, you know the exist the new ships that are out now are creating all kinds of buzz in the uh, in the marketplace, and of course the big question will be uh, just uh, uh, what's going to happen here with the, uh, the the fares the cruise fares because these these ships are coming out they're huge, and they're adding a lot of capacity to the business. Um, you know, uh, can the can the cruise lines stay up and keep up with the uh, the capacity growth? Uh, and the tourists go so far, yeah, uh, that the stats keep coming out uh, from travel agencies and and um, entities that have the you know keep track of this sort of thing. Cruise ships are are uh, at you know setting records. Uh, cruise companies are setting records with how many passengers they're servicing, um, and it's uh, quite amazing. So we'll have to see how uh, you know all this uh, all all comes out. Um, on my channel, uh, not too much happening on the channel other than, well, we're at, we're at 2,113 subscribers. We, we broke 2,100 just a day and a half ago. We're now at 2,113, so they just keep coming in. Thank you, all new subscribers. It's great that you're finding me. Um, the uh, channel's still unmonetized. I still am not being paid by YouTube to do this full-time job. Uh, I was paid from last October until um, Feb 20, and then they cut us off. They cut me off, and they cut off uh, probably a million other channels. And they put us under review because they changed the rules as to how many subscribers you had to have, how many watch hours you had to have. Uh, we had a thousand subscribers and over four thousand watch hours on Feb twenty day, the cutoff day for the new rules. We had it, but apparently um, they said that well, thirty one days before that you didn't have it, and so you're under review now. And so uh, we've been on an automatic review since um, Feb twenty. Um, we're probably another month away. Uh, from what I've read, everything I can find out, it, we might be another month away before I see another dime from YouTube. So I'm on my own to uh, survive. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, well, uh, uh, just just again, thank you, you guys. Uh, your your generosity to my channel has just kept it going, uh, and I appreciate that very much. The latest uh, the, the latest thing I've added to my channel now is a is an Amazon um, link. An, an affiliate link. I'm now an associate with Amazon, and anything you buy on Amazon, if you go through my link to get to the homepage, which is on uh, this chat today, I just popped it up there, but it's always on my discussion just below here. Uh, if you click on that, you go to Amazon.com. Anything you buy in a 24-hour window, uh, I'll be paid some kind of a commission depending on what you what you get. And fantastic! You guys can even sign up if you want. For Amazon Prime, they've got uh, they got a deal right now on Amazon Prime for uh, like 30 days. It's free. Normally, it's about 10, 10 bucks a month. It's free for the first 30 days. Use it all you want. Uh, and Amazon Prime Day is coming up not too long from now, uh, and that's a big deal. So you may want to consider getting Amazon Prime. You can get that through my link by just going to the homepage, and then uh, you'll find uh, you'll find uh, do a little search in the search bar, Amazon Prime trial. It'll pop up. You subscribe to that. It's free to you. They actually pay me, I think, three bucks if you uh, if you become a prime a prime trial subscriber. I think that's how we say it, uh, or something like uh, Prime Music. They have unlimited music on uh, Amazon. I'm learning more about Amazon every day. Uh, unlimited music on Amazon Prime Music. You click on for a trial deal on that, and they they pay me a finder's fee if you do that. Uh, just, just go through my link to get there. On Unbelievable. So anything for Father's Day you're going to get or um, household items, toilet paper, whatever. Um, thank you for any and all of you. I did notice four items go through last night. Uh, they were sort of electronic type items. I don't know who did it. Um, I'm trying to find out who might have ordered the items. Uh, I did get an email from someone this morning asking me if an order came through, but they didn't tell me what they ordered, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> But it was like a $50 purchase, which is great. Uh, just fantastic. Uh, the other day we had batteries go through, and I got a commission for that. That was Peter Heckema. Thank you, Peter, for buying batteries. And like I said, it doesn't matter what you get on Amazon, whether it's a $10 item or a $50 item or five $7 items. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, 
they they pay the uh, they're going to pay somebody a finder's fee and might as well be this guy uh if uh, if you're uh, if you're open to uh, using my link to do it so thank you again the shirts and uh, the merchandise uh, just keeps rolling along uh, traveling with bruce sh uh, shop thank you for all of your orders for this and and the coffee mugs i've got some coffee mugs on order i'm just waiting for them to arrive i can't wait to show them off and um uh, and there's Patreon and there's uh, uh, the donations to PayPal and of course Super Chat. So I've been I've been uh, working the uh, the uh, you know the, the various platforms out there to to build support for the channel and the subscribers continue to come in and uh, so far so good and I thank all of you for joining in. Um, that's basically about it. I think uh, let's say who's let's see who's here today. Say hi to everybody and uh, then i'll cover my topic of the day and if you guys have any comments or questions by all means fire away uh, peter heckema uh, uh, popped in here He's saying hi bruce not too sure what was going on today with your youtube channel <laughs> uh, it looked interesting though uh it's 87 in tarpon springs florida lots of sun and a great day for the beach are you back in calgary no i right now i'm in the creston and i'm plotting a drive to uh costco this weekend uh, either saturday afternoon after the show or Sunday, uh, still up in the air, uh, either tomorrow or the day after. So uh, Jen and I are heading for Costco, uh, but that's Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Um, uh, Peter Hegman, by the way, the, the YouTube post you did earlier was very clear. It looked like HD. Uh, is this something you'll be using from now on? If so, I think it'll really enhance your channel. Uh, I am trying to set it up in such a way that uh, if I can use that software system, I'll be able to do a split screen and uh, I'll be on the one side. I can have a guest talking to me on the other side. Uh, might be on uh, through a Skype connection or something like that. Um, but I'm also looking at putting video up or or, 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 or or pictures up. Sorry, I'm moving my legs here and I'm hitting my screen. Sorry about that. Um, so I'm working on a couple of different uh, different adjustments. And so we'll see what uh, what we can do. In the meantime, I'm going to bring the camera in a little closer here to the computer. And I can put my phone up here not have to hold it. Uh, Blaine Rayleigh's here. Hey, uh, Bruce and friends, it is hot and humid 89 in South Carolina, but feels like 96. Uh, looking forward to the show as always. Uh, welcome, buddy. Uh, glad, glad to have you back here. Uh, Wes Morrison. Hi, Bruce. Another 100-degree day today. Uh, Tracy Dunlop. Hi, Bruce and all. Uh, 85, cloudy, very humid in Naples, Florida right now. Blaine, I did. Uh, it did freeze for like four seconds, but it's good now. My my, my picture apparently looks okay. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick peek at my, my own computer. It looks clear. Yeah, it looks all right. Don't think we have any issues uh, going on here. And... Uh, uh, we got five thumbs up so far, so thank you, everybody, for that. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Tracy Dunlop, hope everyone finds you today as your morning testing is still up as a, as a reminder. Had to go around a different way than usual to get in. Uh, yeah, I, I've been trying to adjust that thing. that I can't adjust it for some reason. I haven't been able to. Uh, after the show, I'll try to fix that thing up. i, I got to get rid of it. It's just useless. But I think it's at 60 views. Crazy. Uh, Seakeeper, hi, Bruce, and all beautifully sunny day here in uh, Tequista, South Florida. 86 in the shade, slight breeze, and very enjoyable outside. Thumbs up, good picture, and sound today. I could do, I could do with a repositioning cruise. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, that would be. Uh, uh, you know, there's some deals here. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about these. Cool jazz. Uh, top of the evening, Bruce. Uh, gorgeous day in the Big Apple. Not in the office today. Right on, buddy. Right on. Uh, make it a long weekend. Way to go, Joseph uh, Hollyfield. Hello, Bruce. Uh, storming in uh, B Bostic, North Carolina, in 84 Fahrenheit. Welcome back, Joseph. Stay inside, stay dry, stay safe, and enjoy the show. Seakeeper, uh, Amazon link not showing up in this broadcast's description. As long as you're at it, uh, Redbubble link would also be useful too. I love my Amazon Prime membership. Now, I have, uh, like, in the in this live stream, there is no description yet. That After I'm off the air, I'll post one. But in the show last night, like the two I did, the the trivia show last night, eight o'clock, and the uh, regular show I did at five Eastern, and, and the day before, and the day before. In the description there, at the very bottom of the description, you'll find everything. You'll find my Redbubble link. You'll find my email address. You'll find my home mailing address. For those of you who want to send me a postcard, uh, you'll find my uh, Amazon uh, link as well. They're, they're on all the videos that I've done. So if you just, uh, you know, after the show, you uh, take a, take a look at my channel and check out a video I did, you know, you know day before yesterday or whatever it was, uh, just go to the description in that video and you'll find my link uh, to um, uh, to uh, Amazon, all right? 
Um, that's how it. That's how it, that works. And Redbubble, there's the uh, address uh, again in the uh, in the description. But you'll find a Redbubble logo on the top corner of my homepage all the time, right beside my PayPal button and my uh, Patreon and my uh, Pinterest and my uh, Instagram and my Twitter. <laughs> there's a bunch of them up there. But I don't think I can add any more buttons. I can't put an Amazon button out there. I would like to have, but I can't. But apparently, if you go to my about section in my uh, on my homepage. There's the videos, playlists, uh, coupling. Then over here is about. You hit that, and it, there's a description about my channel. And then I believe at the bottom of that page is a link to Amazon. But I can't apparently put it on my front page, uh, or at least I haven't figured out yet how to do it. I'm still working on it. Uh, it's only the first week. So uh, there you are. Stacy uh, uh, Wald, Waldrup is here. Stacy is here. Hello, Bruce and everybody. Uh, Sunny and 72 in Minnesota. Hey, how's it going today, pal? Nice to have you here. Uh, nice, comfortable temperature in Minnesota, that's for sure. Welcome to the show. Blaine Rayleigh, uh, Mr. C, we love our Prime as well. Been Prime members for about five years now. Great thing if you shop online more than not. Uh, fantastic, Blaine. If you can use my link on Prime, that'd be great. It works on Prime apparently very well. Silo. Hey, Bruce and all, uh, 70 in Seattle, 50 below with a bit of overcast, 149 days until the bliss and the haven in Mexico, but only one day until I jump on the bliss for Alaska. Last inside cabin should be fun. He jumped on there and he's in there tomorrow. Awesome stuff. I want reports. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. If you can join us live, great. Otherwise, I'll look forward to hearing from you when you're back and you can tell us all about the bliss. Wendy Thompson, 88 in Bland, Missouri. Hello, everyone. A wonderful Missouri summer. Yes, we have one. Uh, fantastic. Loves to travel. Hi, made it on time. 95 out, but feels like 105, it says on the uh, computer because of the humid. The humidity index. Yikes. Uh, yes, it's uh, it's already uh, first of June. Here we are, June number one, and it's 100 plus uh, feeling. Uh, uh, it's either 100 degrees or it feels like 100 plus degrees. Uh, here in Crescent, we don't have that problem. Uh, we had rain yesterday uh, all day long, overnight. We're just clearing out now, um, but we're only going to reach about uh, 55, 60 degrees if we're lucky. Uh, but tomorrow, uh, we're supposed to be in the low 70s, and on Sunday, we might reach the high 70s. So we're, we're coming into the uh, what we call warm around here uh, in the high 70s. <laughs> and once it hits 80, oh, it's getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we roll here uh jim thomas hi all hey jim how you doing pal how's that knee doing uh sea keeper i missed last night's trivia i was making croissants puff pastry waits for no one i have included a favorite uh i've included a favorite to your red bubble merch already uh, we'll do the same to your amazon affiliate soon thank you so much sir i appreciate it that is fantastic. <laughs> uh, it's it's an amazing world in which we live. I'm still learning about this Amazon thing. I, I tell you, there's so much. I'm trying to figure out how to put, I'm putting tweets out, Amazon tweets, uh, Facebook tweets. Uh, I'm now going to start doing videos with merchandise. And oh, it's just never ending. Debbie Manuel, hi, Bruce and everyone. Oops, a bit late. Going to be at least 90 today in Chico and 100 by Sunday. Yahoo, fantastic. Warm, hot, but it's a dry heat, I hope. Uh, welcome, Debbie, to the show. I'm glad you're here. Cam Wilson, Ola, everyone. Welcome, uh, Cam, to the show. You made it. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Um, we're uh, just getting ready to start. I'm just getting ready to start talking about a couple of repositioning cruises. And it looks like we have 30 of us now watching the show. I've got 12 thumbs ups already. Thanks, you guys. I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you're catching up uh, with everybody else. Paul Wilgus, hi, Bruce All, 76, and probably sunny here in Virginia. I'm glad to see you're dressed better for the 5 o'clock show. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, kind of in my schleppy uh, uh, University of Calgary uh, sweatshirt. Uh, my daughter is a graduate of University of Calgary. And uh, last Christmas, she said, Dad, I don't know what to get you. I, I don't know what to get you. I I what do I get? I said, darling, it's so easy. Why don't you get me a good old sweatshirt with UC, UFC on it? Because you're a graduate of USC. And uh, and uh, some, some pants to walk around the house, to schlep around the house. That's all I need. I'm an old guy. You know, think old. <laughs> She took care of me, uh, but now, you know, now if she wants, she can buy me this. <laughs> Actually, I told her about the Amazon.com thing that I have, the Amazon link, and she's going, okay, Dad, I'll tell all my friends. I'm going, oh, please do. You're 30 years old. You've got all your girlfriends out there who shop like you until you drop. Please have dozens of them. 
use my link. That would be great. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what comes of it. Uh, <laughs> Jim Thomas got my shirt and it fits and looks good. Jim, fantastic. You got my, uh, you got uh, traveling with Bruce merch. That's great, buddy. I'm glad to hear that. Peter Heckman, maybe you can do a product of the week to enhance your Amazon sales. Oh, oh, they'll be, they'll be products. Yeah. Oh, that Peter, it's coming. Just, just hang on. <laughs> It's coming. I've got so much to do. It's just unbelievable. Um, yeah, I'm going to be one busy cookie here. Uh, let's talk about a couple of repositioning cruises that I came up with. Um, I was uh, I was looking at vacationstogo.com and I said to the, uh, I typed into the computer, said, it's like I'm on Star Trek, like I can talk to my computer. Um, I can talk to it, but it doesn't talk to me. It doesn't hear me. Anyway, I punched in some info and I said, talk to me about, uh, show me some repositioning cruises the end of this year, like from September uh, sort of thing to the end of the year, uh, and give me like some real good deals. Like, I mean, deals. And um, rather than give you uh, one cruise line with five deals, I thought, well, I'll find, uh, I'll see if I can find uh, four different cruise lines at least uh, and, and, and give you a little sampling. And so here's what I've come up with. Uh, uh, these are in no particular order, so uh, uh, I'm all over the map here. The first cruise I came up with that looked really interesting to me. I mean, these are cruises that I'm looking at going, well, I wouldn't mind taking this cruise. Uh, this one here is Princess. Golden Princess is the name of the ship. Uh, it's a 28-night cruise, four weeks from Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia. Mm, that's a bucket list trip. And um, uh, you go from L.A. and then and then you end up in Hawaii couple of days, excuse me, then you're in Tahiti, then you head to New Zealand, and then you get some sea days, and you're in Sydney. Um, and so you've got uh, a lot of sea days, but you also have a, a number of stops, a number of stops in, in, uh, in New Zealand, by the way, quite a few of them. I didn't mention all in this particular example, but the pricing caught my eye. Uh, inside room for $78.50 a night. I thought, my goodness, $78.50 a night? For a 28-night cruise, uh, and that's uh, before you get a shareholder credit. If you're a shareholder of a Carnival, you can get, I think it's 200 bucks off the price of that or $200 credit for your cabin towards this cruise, uh, just being a shareholder of the company, so that helped. Anyway, $78.50, it's $2,199 for an inside room. And uh, I'm going, wow, four weeks. Uh, divide $2,200, rough rounded up to $2,200, divided by four to give you a weekly rate, $550 a week. On the Prince, the Golden Princess, nice, nice ship, nice cruise, great destinations. Going to see Tahiti, Hawaii, New Zealand, and end in Australia. You spend a week or so or 10 days in New Zealand once you get there, and then you have a one-way ticket home. Wow, what a deal. Um, the, the, the ocean view was 3,300. The uh, balcony was 5,100. The suite was 6,600. I ignored all the three of those. I just went back to the inside and thought, Twenty-one ninety-nine for seventy-eight fifty a night. That's a repositioning cruise. That's a, that's not like your standard uh, Madrid to Fort Lauderdale deal. You know that's pretty cool. Um, love that deal, and I thought I would uh, mention that one to you. The other one, uh, the next one I was going to mention was uh, uh, it's a twenty-two night cruise. It's uh, <clears throat> excuse me, November thirty <clears throat> until December twenty-two. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned the first one was September 23rd to October 22nd, by the way. But the second one, November 30 until December 22, you get home just before Christmas. And it's it's on the Costa Pacifica uh, cruise ship with the Costa Lines, another uh, another uh, uh, carnival cruise. Uh, Savona, Italy to uh, Guadalupe in the, the, in the Caribbean. Guadalupe in, Gua in the Caribbean. Um, 22 nights. Uh, what I liked about this deal, uh, the first thing I really like, 32 bucks a night. <laughs> That's right, $32 a night per person for an inside room. $32. That's what I said. Denny's is 10 bucks per person for breakfast. If you're lucky, he's probably 12. Uh, what for lunch? Uh, well, let's see. Olive Garden for lunch, uh, $20 a person, $18 a person. And uh, Outback Steakhouse, per person, what are you going to pay? $35, $40 a night? And I'm not talking five-star anywhere. Um, here on this ship, you're going to get breakfast, lunch, and dinner uh, all you want. You eat in the main dining room. You're going to eat nicely. $32 includes accommodation, the resort, and the trip. 
they're not making money on you on this one. It's seven hundred and nine dollars for the inside room for twenty two nights. Uh, but here's that's not even the best part. Uh, I mean, that, this is all great. I mean, this is all fabulous. I got something even better than that. Normally, these kinds of cruises, they'll give you like 10 sea days. You know, it's like a long journey across the ocean and you don't see anything. Oh, well, this one. Oh, no, no, no. This one here, you start off in Savona. You go to Marseille, France. You end up in Cadiz, Spain. Uh, then you have a five-day uh, shot across the Atlantic. And you end up then going to San Martin, St. Kitts, Antigua, Martinique, and seven more stops in the Caribbean. You're doing the Caribbean for almost two weeks. Yeah, well, not quite. Two. Yeah, about yeah, about two weeks. It's fantastic. Uh, and then you end up in uh, uh, Saint Martin, Saint Kitts, Antigua, uh, and you end up in Guadeloupe. So you're getting in effect a Caribbean cruise at the end, like a 10, 12 day Caribbean cruise with a transatlantic crossing to start with. It's a fantastic bargain. Seven oh nine for the inside, eleven eighty nine for an ocean view, sixteen twenty nine for a balcony. I mean, the balcony is still under 100 bucks a night. Nothing wrong with that. But for seven zero nine, seven 709 bucks, $32 a night, they're paying you to go on this cruise. <laughs> that is a pretty good bargain. So, yeah, pay extra for ta ta taxes and port charges. You pay for your tipping. Uh, so what? Uh, this is a deal of deals. $32 a night. Wow. That is a heck of a cruise. November 30 until December the 22nd. The trick of it is you got to get to uh, Savona, uh, Savona um, uh, you know, across the ocean. But this, this is a no-brainer in, uh, in November. To fly from the United States or North America to uh, Europe at the end of November, cheap. It's the cheapest time of the year. It's a shoulder, right, a shoulder season. So if you went over three or four days before and got used to the time change or went over a week before, you could stay in cheap, the cheapest rates for hotels. The restaurants will be so happy to see you. Uh, fantastic. As a matter of fact, you could even fly into like uh, Rome, um, hang out hang out at Rome for a while, and then make your way to Savona the day before your cruise and then get on the ship. And here you go. What a deal. 32 bucks a night, $709. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, here's another one for you. This is a typical uh, talking about Rome to Miami. This is a Rome to Miami cruise. <laughs> typical repositioning. November the 5th, departure from Rome. November 19th, arrival in Miami. 14 nights. Uh, Norwegian Star just got renovated, uh, refurbished uh, just uh, two weeks ago. She's all prettied up. Uh, inside room, 620 bucks or $42 a night for an inside room. That... They're losing money. You're eating more than that. You absolutely are eating more than that. Uh, $50 room credit on top of that. And if you're a shareholder of a Norwegian, I think you get 200 or 250 bucks from those guys for a shareholder a room credit on top of that. So you add a $200 room credit to this. Uh, that's $250 in total room credits, $125 each. Uh, you're already now down to, uh, uh, here you're already down to, uh, what was that, $495, $495 a person. 14 nights that's uh, less than 250 a week that is a dead dead giveaway uh the gas is is that much it's unbelievable so there's a there's a deal ocean view is also 620 bucks so choose your room inside or ocean view 620 bucks yeah balcony 814 and a sweet 959 dollars uh the cruise starts in rome has a sea day ends up in, on day three in barcelona then you have two sea days, and you're in uh, Funchal, which is the uh, the Azores. And then you have five sea days. You're in Saint Martin for the day, and you've got two sea days after that, and you're in Miami. And uh, not too many stops, but boy, not too many dollars. Um, you know, if you if you pull it off, where you can fly to Europe two weeks before your cruise and do some European traveling, say the mid mid October to the end. Sorry. Uh, yeah, mid-October to the end of uh, October, just before November 5th departure, uh, you know, get to your ship the day before and get on your ship. And uh, now you have a nice lazy ride home for two weeks. Super cheap. You only have to fly over one way. And as I said, uh, you tell me the airport you want to go out of in the United States. And uh, you can link to a flight either to Rome or Barcelona or Paris or Heathrow or 
Frankfurt, fly into Europe for the cheapest price he can, and then take a train pass, get a rail pass, and November, uh, October and November for rail passes, cheap, <laughs> and uh, heads to the southern part of Europe. I mean, you're, you're, you know, I wouldn't hang out in uh, Norway and Sweden in October and November. It's too cold. So you land in uh, London, you take the channel train if you want to go on a train it, take the channel to Paris, spend a few days there, perhaps a couple days, London, then Paris, then from Paris, head down to Nice by train and uh, check out uh, Monte Carlo for that area for a few days uh, and then work your way over to, uh, to Rome. And whether you take a ferry across the Mediterranean from uh, Nice to Rome uh, or whether you uh, go to G Genoa by train and then take a ferry from there, or you rail it, high-speed rail in Italy, brand new, very nice. Uh, enjoy yourself uh, for a week or two prior to the cruise, and then you're on your way from Rome to Miami, 14 nights at $42 a night. Thank you very much, Norwegian. Nice deal. Uh, see if anybody got any comments here. Raymond is here. Hey, Raymond, how you doing, pal? Wendy Thompson, has anyone gone on P&O in the Caribbean? How are the cabins, the food, the spa? Steve Bartley come back, came back on Tuesday from repositioning on Norwegian Star to Barcelona, then extra days there at three nights in Nice, on to Italy for 12 nights, staying in convents, <laughs> trained, trained to Munich. Fantastic, Steve. Uh, that is awesome. What a great what a great trip that is. How was the Star? I'm just talking about the Norwegian Star. How was the ship? Please tell me. How was your room? How was the food? How were the amenities? Uh, did they do a good job on the uh, on the refurbishment? Let us know. Uh, the, he says he uh, then flew to Iceland for three nights and back to Denver on Iceland Air. There you go. Must have got a good deal on that too. You can fly Norwegian Air uh, over to Europe one way uh, for exactly half the price that were round trip. Fantastic deals. Uh, very good, Steve. I'm curious to hear how uh, how everything was for you. Uh, sounds like you had a great trip, uh, and it sounded like it was very economical. Well done. Uh, the next uh, repositioning cruise I've got for you guys today uh, is a, a cruise that departs on November the 19th uh, until December the, the uh, sorry, December, September the 6th. Uh, it's a 17-nighter. Um, oh, that was before dry dock. Sorry, Steve, you were on the ship before dry dock. That's right. You got off in Barcelona. It went into uh, dry dock after you. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, Steve. Sorry about that. Um, and then you had a good rest. It looks like you had a good rest of the trip after that. That was exciting. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it is now with it all being refurbished, right? Um, 17 night trip here, repositioning cruise, November 19th to December the 6th. Um, it's on the MSC Seaview. It's the sister, sh the sister ship of the seaside. Sister ship of the seaside. Um, the MSC Seaview, brand new ship just coming out in the next week or so. Barcelona to Sao Paulo, Brazil. That's the repositioning cruise I have here. Barcelona to Sao Paulo, Brazil in South America. Uh, inside room, $57 a night for, per person, 960 bucks. What a deal for 17 nights. Ocean view, 1387. Uh, balcony, $1,813. So it's about uh, around 100 a night and a little more. And then uh, suite, 2,400 bucks. Um, you go from Barcelona on day one to uh, one day at sea to Cadiz, Spain, then to Lisbon in Portugal, one day at sea, then you're in Funchal, the Azores, then you're in Santa Cruz and Tenerife. Then you have six days crossing the Atlantic and you're going to end up in Salvador, Brazil for a day, one day at sea, uh, Busos, Busios, uh, Brazil, then, uh, then to Rio and to Sao Paulo. Uh, you end up uh, at the end of 17 days here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Um, very exciting. If you've never been down there before, a great way to get there. Uh, and the, the price is right, 960 bucks for 17 nights, two weeks plus three days uh, on a brand new cruise ship. I'm sure the bugs have been worked out, but I don't know. I don't know what level these rooms are on. Uh, these are inside rooms. Um, but we're going to find out in the next couple of weeks how that ship's doing and if it's got the same issues that the seaside had uh, with regards to the odor uh, on the inside rooms or not. Uh, if this ship uh, passes the test, uh, the smell test, <laughs> then this is a great deal. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this one works out. So four repositioning cruises, a 28-nighter from L.A. to Sydney, which uh, just that one's cool. That sounds cool. 
78.50 a day. 22 niner from Savona, Italy to Guadalupe for 32 bucks. The deal of deals. Uh, 14 nights, Rome to Miami for 42 bucks a night. And uh, 17 nights, uh, Barcelona, Sao Paulo for $57 a night. Pretty interesting uh, set of cruises. I got one more for you. This isn't the repositioning cruise. This is a cruise that I found today that uh, really caught my eye. I thought uh, I'd mention this one. This is for someone who's uh, always wanted to be on a, a longer cruise um, and uh, really see a chunk of the planet. Boy, this one right here fits the bill. Uh, Scott Batchy just saying, hi, everybody. Nice day today in Mature. 111 days until my next cruise. Cam Wilson. Doesn't the zip line on the seaside cost uh, 10 bucks? Apparently it does. Cam Wilson, Ola Scott. Um, uh, yeah, the seaside has been charging 10 bucks for, uh, for a zip line ride, which I find kind of silly. Uh, anyway, here you go. How would you like to be on an 87 night cruise? 87 nights from September the 25th until December the 21st. You get off the ship just before Christmas. Pardon me, long days just before Christmas and you get to see the family for Christmas time and you've had 87 days to do some Christmas shopping at ports and cities that no, none of your relatives have been to, I bet you. Uh, the cruise starts in Vancouver, British Columbia, ends in Los Angeles. Uh, now you're wondering, Vancouver to Los Angeles, 87 nights, what are they paddling that thing? It's the Holland America Amsterdam cruise ship and uh, an inside room is $115 a night. And uh, on, on Holland America, on this length of a cruise, that's a pretty good deal. Um, the, uh, the ocean view uh, will run, uh, the, the inside room is a $10,000 room, but it's 87 night. The ocean view, 11, nine, uh, the balcony is 21,400. So you're talking over 200 a night. And uh, suite is also 21,200 bucks a night. So 115 bucks a night, you're on a, uh, you're on a five-star liner, and here's the uh, the itinerary. You start off in Vancouver, British Columbia, and you go to Astoria, Oregon for your first stop the next day. You have a sea day, and you end up in San Francisco for a day. Uh, one more sea day, and you're in Los Angeles, and then you have five sea days because you're going back north again. First, you went Vancouver south. Now you're turning around going back up to Dutch Harbor, Alaska. That's after five sea days. Then you have four more sea days, and you end up in Russia, and uh, it's Petropavlovsk, Russia. I can't say that slow or fast. Two sea days after that, you're in Kushiro, Japan, and then after one more sea day, you're in Tokyo, and you get to stay two nights in Tokyo. Uh, then you have uh, the next day, you're in uh, Shimizu, Shimizu, Japan. Then you're in Kobe, Japan for two nights again, a beautiful city, Kobe. Then you're in uh, Fukuoka, uh, two days at sea, and you're in Beijing. And uh, uh, you end up with you end up with two nights in Beijing as well. Two sea days later, Shanghai, and you stay two nights in Shanghai. Not too bad. Uh, and then you have a sea day, and you're into Okinawa, back to Japan. Uh, next day, you're in Ishig Ishigaki. <laughs> and the next day you're in Taipei, Taiwan. One day at sea, you're in Hong Kong, and you get two nights in Hong Kong. That's on my bucket list. One day at sea, and you're in Na Trang, Vietnam. Then the next day you're in Saigon, which they like to refer to as Ho Chi Minh City. I still call it Saigon. One more day at sea, you're in Singapore. You have two nights in Singapore. Lots to see and do there. One night later, you're in Samarang, Indonesia. Another day at sea, you end up in Benoa, which is Bali. You're in Bali, Indonesia, and Komodo in Indonesia the next day. Another day at sea, you're in Darwin, Australia. Now you're down to Australia on the northern coast. Uh, three days at sea later, you're in Cairns. Two days later, you're in, a, you're in Queensland. Then one day later, you're in Sydney, Australia, and you're spending two nights in Sydney, Australia. Two night, two sea days later, you're in New Caledonia uh, for a couple of days. You're going to end up in Mystery Island. And uh, one more day at sea, you're in Fiji for a couple of days, a couple of different ports. Then uh, for another day after sea, another day of sea, you're in Apia, Samoa. A couple of days at sea later, you're in uh, Pago, Pago, American Samoa. Pago, Pago, American Samoa. And then you have five sea days to Honolulu for a night. 
And uh, the next night you're in Maui for a night. And then five sea days after that, you're back in Los Angeles. And that works out to 87 nights uh, across a good chunk of the Pacific, starting from the north all the way down China, Japan, Indonesia, Singapore, of course, to Australia, and then up to Fiji and over to Hawaii and back to Los Angeles. So uh, warm weather, basically, almost all the way. You'll start a little chilly, I would imagine, because you're um, getting on the ship on the 25th of September, and uh, you get to L.A. after a few days, and you'll, you'll be warm there. But then you're turning around heading north for five until you get to Alaska and then coming down the Russian side. Uh, you'll be cool for a while, and then you'll warm right up because you're going to be in the 80s and the 90s when you get to uh, – the southern part of Japan into China and then into Vietnam and Indonesia, of course, Bali and Australia. It's all summer, dead of summer, very nice warm weather. And then you work your way back to Los Angeles. Pretty cool cruise ending on December the 21st, 2018. So if you got the dough, you got the time, uh, you just got to amortize it. You got to just say to yourself, it's only 115 a night. I know it's $10,000, but it's only 115 a night. <laughs> Anyway, there you go. That'd be a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool cruise, I gotta say. Overall, there you go. So there's uh, five uh, deals there that I came up with today. I thought would be kind of cool, um, something to uh, kind of think about. Uh, Wendy Thompson, chocolate cake. Quick, Bruce needs caffeine. Yeah, Bruce is dying here. Uh, Bruce is working too hard. He needs some time off. Uh, Cam Wilson, but why? That's one of the main attentions, uh, attractions of the ship. It would be like uh, Carnival charging for the Sky Ride or. Or Royal Charging for the Carousel or Skyding. I hope they don't start doing that. Um, uh, well, you know, uh, they're, they're, I don't know why they're charging 10 bucks for a, a, a zip line ride. I really don't know. I, I don't think it's worth 10 bucks to go from this part of the ship to that part of the ship. I, I don't get it. But I, I must be missing something. Cool Jazz, how many captains on a cruise that long? laugh out loud and cool jazz uh, how many suitcases do you pack also well in this kind of deal you'll probably get a laundry service as part of your package um, it's not uncommon with the cruise line will offer uh, um, you know laundry as part of their deal they might do uh, one or two bags of laundry a week for you at no extra charge um, you would pack uh, theoretically if you pack smart uh, you know you got one Big suitcase for each of you, you know, husband and wife, I'm assuming, and then two carry-ons. Uh, you should be all right. Um, but then again, you might buy clothing on the way. <laughs> yeah, while you're while you're visiting these various ports, you'll you'll probably get a t-shirt or two and uh, wear them and uh, bring them home, that kind of thing. But uh, I was thinking about the Christmas presents. I, I mentioned this to Jen, my wife, and I said, "Hey, Jen, you know, uh, wouldn't that be?" A really cool cruise you know you get home just in time for christmas and you're bringing back christmas presents that uh you know from ports of call from far away and she said well you know if you if you if you get enough of them you would uh you know let's say buy some stuff in tokyo or singapore you just go to the fedex office and uh send it home on fedex you don't even put it on the ship you just ship it back to to uh, to uh, your own address or to your to your house uh, your brother your sister or relative the kids and um uh, and send it in that way you don't even put it on board the ship I thought, there you go. Christmas presents are waiting for you when you get back to be uh, wrapped up and put under the tree. There you go. <clears throat> you got Bali. You've got Sydney, Australia. I mean, you got you can get souvenirs from all over the place. I would imagine that whatever souvenirs you're getting in Fiji or Hawaii, uh, maybe not worth your while to sh ship those. You might as well take them with you. But uh, prior to that, let the folks at FedEx do it or UPS or whoever you're going to use and. Uh, the items will be waiting for you by the time you uh, get home. Probably will work fairly well. Uh, Isq Park. Hi, Bruce. It's Isq in Thunder Bay, Ontario. A bit late getting here. It's freezing, plus six Celsius. That cooled off. Uh, and cold mist rain here. Yeah, I guess you cooled off pretty fast from, what, 18? The other day, you lost 12 degrees. Debbie Manuel, I think these ships are charging extra for onboard activities to shorten the lines. Uh, Go-karts are charging money uh, for every ride and reserving times on the new bliss uh yeah i i hear that the uh, the cost of the uh of the uh go-kart is like seven bucks uh, and you got to reserve your ride uh excuse me certain, certain time you have to book your your cart but i guess you get 10 minutes of, of ride time which is pretty cool you probably get around that track you know several times over i was worried that you'd only get like one or two loops and then you have to get off the darn thing but no they seem to put a 10 minute limit on it to start and um it seems to be going over fairly well from what I can understand. Um, but I get the impression, too, that as these ships get refurbished, 
and these new uh, these new features get added to these ships like with uh, the independence of the seas for Royal Caribbean, they've added that uh, trampoline uh, deal with the uh, bungee cords that you're strapped into, and then you can put on the uh, the Oculus uh, virtual reality uh, units and jump up and down on Mars or or the Moon or whatever that you know whatever you're looking at. Apparently, for now, it's no extra charge. It's part of the cruise. But I get the impression that as these water parks get more and more sophisticated with these longer slides and uh, now with these uh, these uh, bungee units and uh, laser tag uh, they're setting up now, uh, time, I wouldn't be surprised if you're going to get a wristband that gives you access to all those features for like 50 bucks for the cruise or five bucks a day or 10 bucks a day or whatever the, you know, whatever they're going to want to charge for it. But on the other hand, uh, competition is a good thing. So if Norwegian is doing it, Royal Caribbean is adding these kinds of features, uh, Carnival is adding these features, other lines, uh, they're all looking for the business. The first guy to want to charge uh, might start losing bookings because parents might steer their reservations towards cruise lines that don't charge their kids $100 to use the rides or, or whatever it might be. Then again, uh, you know, if you've got a uh, you've got a feature that no one else has, maybe you can get away with charging for it. I, I don't I don't know how this is going to uh, going to work, but for now, uh, for the most part, I don't believe cruise lines are charging extra for these uh, features, as far as I know. Um, Debbie saying, I can't wait. Hope to be on those go karts in twenty nine days. Yes, yes. Uh, hopefully, they won't get cracked up and beat up too much by the time it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering about these uh, gogers. How durable are they, and uh, how many times will people, you know, whack them into the thing or have an accident with them or whatever? But uh, they look pretty cool. Um, people seem to be having a lot of fun driving these units, and uh, the track looks kind of neat. And it's a novelty of novelties. I mean, you can say to your best friend, oh, "I drove a, I drove a go kart on the top of a cruise ship." <laughs> how many times can you say that? That should be a lot of fun. Uh, everything I'm seeing about the Bliss uh, looks pretty cool, sounds pretty cool, um, should be a, a lot of fun. And uh, Debbie, I think you're going to have a great cruise. Anyone going on that ship should have a really good time. And um, it looks like Steve uh, Silo, uh, yeah, Silo has already uh, grabbed the last inside cabin to uh, get on it uh, tomorrow. Uh, way to go. <laughs> yeah, well, heading for Alaska. I know he's been threatening to jump on board early. He didn't want to wait. And uh, sure enough, uh, he got the green light to get uh, to get going. And uh, there you have it. So I'm looking forward to hearing from him. I'm sure we all are. Um, how this uh, cruise is going to work out. Uh, we're on tomorrow, two in the afternoon. I, I don't know if he'll be able to talk to us on the show tomorrow. Maybe he can uh, let us know how the, how the ship is so far. But uh, perhaps on uh, Monday's show, he might be able to join us live and let us know how uh, how life is on the bliss as a single cruiser heading to Alaska. That should be a pretty good uh, should be a pretty good cruise right there. Twenty three thumbs ups today. Thank you guys. Uh, appreciate that very much. Looks like thirty five of us are here watching. Anybody have any questions? Fire away. Uh, Nina Frank is saying here. Hi Bruce. Just remember that uh, you're on. So I had to check in. Greetings from Sweden. Oh, you just remembered I want. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Thank you. It's Friday uh, here in Creston. Uh, still very cloudy and overcast. We did have a bit of blue sky peeking out. It's supposed to clear out in the next two or three hours. And uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful sunny day, Saturday and Sunday here. Uh, back into the mid-70s and the uh, maybe the high 70s. But right now, I think we're in the low 50s. Kind of cool, so I'm staying indoors and uh, staying warm here. Uh, Debbie Manuel, O oh, Silo, how exciting. Hope uh, hope means you will still wave at us when we arrive. <laughs> uh, uh, that'll be great, uh, uh, Steve. I'm glad you're going. This is fantastic. You were able to grab a unit. Uh, uh, hope you got a decent price. I uh, hope you didn't pay too much. And, uh, you know, it's fantastic. I mean, there's nothing like, you know, knowing you only have a couple days notice, you're on a cruise. Boom, just like that. Just like that. That's fantastic. Stacy, um, Stacy, saying, uh, Bruce, how many cruises have you been on, and uh, which cruise lines? Um, well, let's see. Stacy, I started off as a five-year-old um, crossing the Atlantic Ocean uh, with my parents, uh, my sister from Canada to uh, to uh, Germany. My father was part of the uh, uh, the NATO uh, Armed Forces, use of the Canadian Army, 
and uh, Canada had a NATO commitment uh, bringing soldiers in on rotation at various bases in West Germany at the time. And uh, I don't remember the name of the ship we crossed on, but I know that we came back on the Homeric in, uh, in 1962. 1962, I came back from Germany on the Homeric, which is owned by a company called Home Lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Home Lines lasted until about the mid 70s and when they went out of business finally, or, or actually what was left of Home Lines was bought by Holland America, which I found interesting and ironic because in 1988, I took my first cruise vacation on a cruise ship with Holland America. Uh, I didn't know at the time that the cruise line I was going on was the cruise line that bought the cruise line I was last on. Uh, Funny how karma kind of works out. I found out on, like in the last six months doing this work on YouTube, I actually found out, oh my goodness, I've been on Hall America twice. Home Lines first and Hall America second. Anyways, on Hall in America in 1988, uh, 1998, excuse me, uh, and uh, my wife and I uh, and uh, friends of ours uh, went on a cruise uh, on the Oosterdam, uh, the Mexico Re Mexican Riviera, seven nights. Loved it out of San Diego back. And then the next cruise I was on was on the Norwegian Jade in uh, 98 um, as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And that was um, a, a European cruise. That was a cruise that my daughter and I took from Southampton in the UK uh, into the Mediterranean. Uh, and we ended up in Barcelona. We went all the way to Rome, Naples, no, Rome, Florence, and then back to Barcelona. We had about nine stops in 11 days. Very very good cruise. I would highly recommend any of you, if you've never been to Europe before and you're nervous about the language or the food or the customs and you, you just don't want to, you're not interested in flying over there and then uh, trying to figure out how to get around and uh, get a hotel and all that, go on a cruise. Uh, take a cruise. Um, I used to haul in, uh, Norwegian, excuse me, I used to haul Norwegian. Uh, everything on board was English. Uh, everything on board was in U.S. dollars. Uh, everything on board was North American food with local food added in to the to the menus. But the the core menu was New York steak in the dining room with baked potato or fries, uh, meatloaf or chicken or fish. And then they would have, you know, uh, a, a couple of dishes that were Portuguese or Spanish, depending on where we were. If we were near France, they would have French dishes. If we were near Italy, there would be Italian. In the again, in the main dining room and in the buffet, it was North American all the way, uh, except for again specialty items that they would have, you know, labeled food signage, and you could try some of this stuff, a little of this, a little of that, see what you thought. I loved it. I just loved the whole thing. I was so comfortable, relaxed. Uh, I didn't mind at all. During the daytime, you're getting off a cruise ship in Cadiz, Spain. You're walking around Cadiz, Spain, and uh, all the license plates look weird, and the people don't talk English, and the signage is all in uh, Spanish. And, uh, and yet, you know, for dinner tonight, dinner, uh, I'm on that cruise ship over there, and they'll make me whatever I want the way I like it. <laughs> I love it. The television was set to uh, CNN all the time. You could always get CNN. And so you could watch a little bit of TV. Not that I cared. The entertainment was all in English, all North American. Fantastic. Uh, so that was a great cruise. And I'd highly recommend any of you who are, you know, not so sure if you want to be in Europe uh, with you and your wife uh, not knowing anyone, traveling on your own, uh, not sure about the train thing or whatever. What? The, the cruise ship takes care of everything. You unpack once and you don't pack up until it's time to go home. And uh, getting from Barcelona to the airport, uh, I walked off the gangplank with my daughter. Uh, 15 feet over there with a line of taxis. <laughs> all waiting to take people to the airport. Hopped in and 30 bucks later, we were at the airport. And of course, once you're in the airport, English is everywhere. And... Uh, we had a coffee and a bite to eat before we boarded, and the American Airlines flight was waiting for us. Uh, two hours later, we were on the air, and off we went. Flew to New York uh, from Barcelona. It was fantastic. Um, the next cruise I went on was with my uh, better half, Jen, the, 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 the wife you've never seen. She looks just like Jennifer Aniston. 
Um, she and I were on a cruise, a Royal Caribbean Explorer of the Seas, uh, out of Bayonne, New Jersey, uh, to uh, the Caribbean. We ran through a bomb cyclone on the way down. Rough, rough 30 hours, but after that, it was great. Uh, and then we uh, the, we did a cruise on the Norwegian Epic uh, for uh, for the first week of January. Uh, it was like January 4 to 11, uh, three, three or so years ago. Cheap, 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 because early January, they're giving cruises away. And so we're on basically this brand new ship, the Epic, that was barely a year old. And I think we paid uh, for our balcony room. I don't know if we paid 650 bucks. It was fantastic. Um, and then uh, my wife and I have also done two uh, princess cruises, uh, both out of Los Angeles, one on the Sapphire Princess, one on the Ruby Princess, uh, Mexican Riviera Cruises. Uh, the Sapphire Princess, we were on Super Bowl weekend. We were on the ship for the Super Bowl. We watched it on the big screen TV outside. We had the loungers with the blankets around us and the popcorn, and we watched, uh, watched the game. The big blowout uh, where Seattle kicked Denver's butt. Uh, and then a couple of years later, uh, last year, we did a cruise on the Ruby Princess, uh, again, through the uh, Mexican Riviera. Loved it. Uh, Cabo San Lucas, Mazatlan, and Puerto Vallarta. The, the standard three stops and uh, loved it very much. So th those are the cruises I've been on. Uh, I got a, a bunch on my wish list and on my bucket list, and I uh, want to get on a cruise uh, later this year. Before the year is out, I want to take my next one. And then uh, right after the new year, I want to start cruising uh, quite actively and uh, put together a bunch of meet and greets with you guys and uh, take it from there because I'm a YouTuber now, and now I'm talking cruise ships on YouTube, and so I want to be on cruise ships. And uh, that's the plan as we gear this channel up. Uh, uh, let's see here, Debbie. Uh, let's see. Let me just I'm going to catch up on my uh, messages. Okay, Nina, warm here and uh, be so for a while, even at night. Uh, good warm weather there, Nina. That's great in Sweden. Cam yeah, Wilson, 12 days until my next cruise. 12 days. That's all it is. Uh, she wants to know, Nina wants to know what ship you're going to be on. Uh, Tammy Ray, hello. Hey, Tammy. Cam yeah, Wilson, Carnival Sensation. I'm overdue for a cruise. Right on, Cam. Get out there. Uh, Nina Frank saying hi, Tammy. And uh, uh, like she says, she liked Carnival. Ca cool jazz. Do you remember the NCL Windward? I don't. Uh, no. Uh, a little before my time. Uh, loves to travel. The best part of my Italy cruise was, cruise was coming into Venice. Uh, I guess so, yeah. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, coming in super slow and those those uh, little islands and the canals. Oh, I thought the gondolas and all the other pleasure craft. Unbelievable. The colors had to have been spectacular. Randy Lucas, greetings, Bruce, and all. Wonderful day here. Wonderful day here in paradise. Sunny high of 81 today. $32 a, a day for cruise. Where, when, with who, what details? Please, please. Randy, where you been? I've been on the air for uh, almost an hour. Uh, what, what's going on? Uh, Randy, this is a wonderful cam. Cam Wilson, thanks, Randy. Stacy, sounds awesome. Thanks for the info. Uh, Wes Morrison, how do you compare Princess against Hall in America? Hall in America, five stars. Uh, Princess, four and a half. Uh, just a little better on a lot of little things. Little things. Uh, the spa, far better. Uh, the food, better quality, uh, better presentation. Um, price, about the same-ish. Uh, you can get the same pricing, which I find interesting. Uh, but I find that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the bedding and the uh, accommodations in the suites are nicer on Hall in America. Uh, the clientele a little older, I think. A princess a little younger. Uh, but there's children on both. I mean, there's, there's kids on both. Well, not like a ton, but there's kids on both. Um, but I like Hall in America just a, li just, mm, just a little more. I just like a little more. This $32 deal, Randy, uh, just, just for you. Uh, I'm going to recap this. It's a $32 a night deal. It's a repositioning cruise. November uh, 30th departure date uh, from Savona, Italy to um, Guadalupe in the in the Caribbean, just near uh, Trinidad, Tobago. Excuse me, starts on November 30, ends December 22. You get home just in time for Christmas. And uh, for 32 bucks a night for an inside room, 709 bucks, you start off in Savona, you end up in Marseille in France, then in Cadiz, Spain, a couple days sailing, five days at sea, you end up in Saint Martin, and then you're in Saint Kitts, Antigua, Martinique, and seven more stops in the Caribbean until you're back into Guadalupe. This is basically a, uh, it's like a two-week Caribbean cruise that starts in Savona, Italy. 
and it's $32 a night for an inside room per person. That's breakfast. <laughs> breakfast and lunch, easy. Dinner's free. Entertainment is free. Swimming pools are free. The room, the bedding is free. Like the sleep in your room is free. The transportation is free. All the islands you can see is free. This is a, a deal of the 32 bucks a night on the Costa Pacifica cruise ship. Four stars, four and a half stars from Savona to Guadalupe, November 30 to December 22nd. Great deal. Great, great deal. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. So I got <laughs> uh, cool jazz. Took Holland to Bermuda from New York. It was a very relaxing, older crowd. Yes. Uh, the uh, the line has got a long history. It's like Cunard. Uh, Cunard, they have those black, the black hulls with the white top. Same with the Holland America. They have the same kind of color scheme. The, uh, the, the design is, is generations old, uh, but they know what they're doing. Uh, the Hall in America people, they got it down to a science. Great staff, um, great entertainment, very classy, I find, very sophisticated, uh, not in your face loud. It's, uh, yeah, it, it, it's got my age group all over it. I was, uh, I was uh, 40, uh, 52 when I went on the ship for the first time. I was 52. And I'm 62 now, and I looked around at age 52, and I went, "Wow, this this kind of nice. I I like this. It's nice quality ship, uh, really well run, and uh, the staff, uh, very very good staff, really jovial. Um, I was impressed with their uh, service, the quality of the food. We ate in the main dining room every night. Didn't have to go to a specialty dining restaurant. The main dining is five star dining, and your waiter knows what you like." And uh, my uh, my buddy and I, uh, we were on the first night. We we're looking at the menu, and uh, he said to the waiter, uh, "I see here you've got uh, you've got prawns as an appetizer. How many do you get with the uh, you know with your dish?" He says, "I think you get five, sir." He says, "Oh, great! That that'll be great. Are they good?" He said, "Oh, they're big. They're big prawns." And he looked at me. He said, "Bruce, you want one of those?" I said, "Yeah, I'd love that. I'd eat that all the time." And the waiter. Uh, Brought them to us, and uh, our wives had whatever appetizers they had, and these prawns were fantastic. And um, uh, I like the kind of prawn that you need like two bites to eat it instead of just one. <laughs> like it's that big. Um, anyway, uh, uh, after the waiter uh, came by uh, to take away the empty dishes, he looked at uh, my my root my buddy, and he said to uh, said to him, "Well, would you be? Uh, how were those prawns?" He said, "Oh, they were fantastic." He said, "Would you?" Uh, would you like to have prawns every night on the cruise before your dinner automatically? And he's looking at me and I'm looking at him going, yeah, sure. So done. And so for every night, uh, when we got to the dining room the next night, we sat down and brought the menus telling us, showing us what's on tap tonight and uh, time to make our order. And the waiter's going, I'm assuming you're having the prawns tonight, gentlemen. Uh, yes, we are. Uh, excellent. Yeah, got the prawns for you. What else you want? The prawns weren't on the menu. There were no prawns on the, but there were prawns on my table. He had it arranged that we had prawns every night, whether they were on the menu or not. And this is just part of the cruise. No extra charge for this deal. And the service was impeccable uh, with, you know, just fantastic. Everything clean, clean, clean. The kind of restaurant where uh, once you had your main dish, they take the plates away and the cutlery away. Then they bring the brush and they brush off the top of your linen table. Like the breadcrumbs are brushed away because, you know, you're going to be there for another 20, 30 minutes. You can have some dessert, a cup of coffee or something like that. You don't want to be sitting there with breadcrumbs on your table. They sweep that off just like a five-star restaurant all in Hall of America. Very nice. I would highly recommend Hall of America to any of you. Uh, if you're watching for the first time and you're wondering what cruise line should I go on, go to Vacations to Go and check out Caribbean Cruises this winter. And find out November, December, January, if you can go on the Eurodam or the Westerdam on Holland America for about the same amount of money you would be paying for a princess cruise or a celebrity cruise, I would take a good look at Holland America. That is a, uh, that is a strong competitor. Uh, it's like five to almost five and a half stars, depending on the ship. I would look it over. Absolutely. Um, uh, cool jet. Do you save your sail and sign cards? My sail and sign cards. I, I got my room keys here, but um, no, I don't. Are you talking about the? I'm not exactly sure what those are. 
<laughs> I know we get our little newspaper every day, a little flyer, but uh, sale and sign cards. Um, what exactly is that? Uh, I think I, I'm just uh, missing it today. Um, anyway, yeah, All America. Mm, very nice, uh, very nice cruise line. Princess, I enjoyed uh, the two cruises we took out of Los Angeles. We, we enjoyed them. They were great. Uh, but uh, if they were Hall American instead, I'd be happier. I really would. Uh, I really enjoyed the trip out of San Diego. Uh, cool, just ones you get on all cruises. The ones you get on all cruises. Sail and sign cards. Sail and sign cards. Are they in your room? Are they? Uh, are these? Um, uh, I, 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 I'm not sure which one you're talking. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, sail and sign card. Susan Hoffman. Oh yes, when I get home from a cruise, so sad because there's there's no one to brush off the crumbs anymore. Yeah, you remember, Suzanne? You know. You forget these little things on these things. Saying sale and sign is carnival. It's your room key. Well, I mean, I keep my room keys here from these guys. Those I have, uh, but I've not been on carnival, so I don't have any theirs. Um, I found Nina Frank. I found um, with Noi Amsterdam very good deals. Right on, Debbie Manuel. They are they are your key cards. Carnival calls them sale, sale and sign. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Cam yeah, Wilson, I always save mine. Uh, Stacy, uh, that's what Carnival calls the room key and card to charge things to. Thank you, everybody. And Jordan, hey, Bruce and all. Sorry I'm late. It's 22 in uh, Celica in Brisbane today. Brr, cold. <laughs> and Jordan, is that 22 degrees Fahrenheit? Uh, is that what you're telling me? Uh, that would be cold. Tracy Dunlop, uh, I save all mine in your room key. Uh, yeah, like I say, I've got my... Uh, my uh, Norwegian here from the Epic, right there. Let me see that one. There you are. And then this one here is from the um, the Ruby Princess. That was the one I had last year. The gold card there, and uh, um, it was uh, February 18th until February the 25th, 2017. And uh, um, we had a 5:30 p.m. seating time at the Da Vinci dining room on this one. And on the uh, epic um, disembark on the 11th of uh, January 2015, we got on that ship on the 4th of January 2015. And I have on the back on this one my Madeira, my Madeira spa because I had a spa cabin. We, we had a spa room, and that gave us access to the spa on the epic. And like the Bliss, uh, if you've seen Jim Zim's video about the Bliss, uh, he did one about the spa, the the the, the cabins. Uh, he was talking about don't book a balcony cabin. Basically, he was telling you book a spa balcony cabin. And then he went to the spa. Very nice looking spa. Well, that's exactly very similar to how nice the spa is on board the Norwegian Epic. Um, I have to say that the spas that I've enjoyed the most are on Norwegian and on uh, Holland America. Uh, very nice. Uh, then the uh, the third place would be uh, Princess, and then last place was Royal Caribbean. The Explorer of the Seas Spa was sad. I uh, did not enjoy it at all. There was no, it was not an exclusive deal. There were no passes to the spas on that ship, uh, and uh, it, anyone could just show up on these. Uh, it was not very good. Whereas uh, Princess was okay, not the greatest, but uh, worth the money. Uh, Norwegian Jade, Norwegian Epic, and definitely Holland America. Definitely worth the extra money to get the, uh, the exclusive access pass to the spas. Very nice. Uh, heated loungers, um, spa, uh, steam room, um, um, sauna, uh, whirlpool jacuzzis. Fabulous. You get to use all the facilities. Loved it. Really enjoyed it. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, I have all mine, rookies, and Jordan degrees. Lots of repo cruises. So much. Uh, C H P I C E. Oh, I have no idea what that means. So much, uh, so much. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, damn typo. Choice. Uh, so much choice. Thanks, and it's right below me. I, I'm I'm trying to read your message, and right below your message is your correction. I, I'm not even seeing it. Thanks, and <laughs> so much choice. Absolutely. The the number of repositioning cruises from September to December. There got to be fifty of them. I've given you four. Uh, this. this this is just a drop in the bucket. It's fantastic. Randy Lucas, when at home, I need to brush my crumbs off my own chest. Dang. Yeah, I do this. <laughs> I do this, and I think about the service on the Hall in America. 
Oh, man, laugh out loud. Randy uh, from Paul Wolgas and Jordan. Thanks, Nina. It is our winter. Um, and Jordan, so is it 22 degrees Fahrenheit? That That's what it is, right? 22 Fahrenheit, right? You're cold Fahrenheit. You're not talking. You're not trying to tell me 22 Celsius is cold, right? You're not telling me that. You can't tell me that. You got to be telling me it's 22 Fahrenheit, right? Uh, but I see it's 22 silica, silica in Brisbane. Are you are you saying 22 degrees Celsius? Because around here, that's called summer. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just asking. Uh, <laughs> cool jazz. Sending Bruce to Costco Optical for sure now. Oh, man. Iskew Park. Uh, it's Celsius here. Try that. Laugh out loud. Just the letter C is all you need to do. Oh, man. I like Iskew Park saying six Celsius. That's all it is. Oh, man. I saw somebody send me a message. Um, here we go. Um, it looks like I got a $10 donation today on PayPal. Uh, Peter Heckema sent me $10 on uh, PayPal. Thank you, Peter, very much for your contribution. That's some Costco money. Costco money. There it is. Here, here he is sending $10. Then here's enjoy your Costco money. There you go right there. Thank you, sir. I will let Jen know she's in for a hot dog um, and we're good to go. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, thanks for all your contributions, you guys. I appreciate it very much. If you get a chance to do some shopping on my Amazon link, I would so appreciate it. If you could, if you, I would love it if you send me a little email and just say, hey, I picked up a, uh, you know, I spent 20 bucks on, on Amazon today or I bought, uh, you know, 40 bucks worth of blah, blah, blah. Just let me know. I'll look for it. I'll look for the orders because I get these reports the next day that will say uh, uh, this item was ordered uh, for $13.99. This item was ordered for $6.99. But I don't know who it is. I have no idea. So it, it, I don't know if it's a viewer or if it's a, if it's just one of my fishing lines that are out there. Uh, but I'm hoping that this link will work and work well. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys can, uh, can uh, uh, utilize it. That would be absolutely fantastic. There, I just popped it in here on the chat right now. Again, there's the link there on my chat. If you uh, get a chance to uh, to uh, copy it and go to the site, fantastic. It's good for 24 hours. Apparently, if you click it and in 24 hours you buy something on Amazon, the uh, there's a, a little finder fee that comes my way. It's like 3%, 5%. It, it varies depending on the item. Uh, some some pay like 2%. Some pay 7 um, I, I I don't care. Doesn't matter. Better to me. It matters not to you. Actually, it costs you nothing. You're going to pay the same amount whether I get a commission or not. So if you're helping my channel out on that on Amazon, I thank you very much. Uh, I need all the help I can get. <laughs> so there you go. All right, that's it for this show. I think I bored you guys long enough. Um, I don't want to hold you up. You're you're watching me yawn all day. Twenty nine thumbs ups so far today. Thank you for all the thumbs ups, you guys. I appreciate it very much. I'm going to try to get this OAS software figured out. Um, hopefully, uh, maybe tomorrow or Monday. I don't know. I'm going to try. I'm going to keep working on it. I've got such a learning curve on this stuff. And uh, try to improve the uh, channel even more. But it looks like today we had a good picture here uh, all day long. And uh, I think everybody, uh, no complaints about the quality of the uh, transmission. So I'm very happy about that. I'll be on tomorrow at 2 o'clock for my next show. I'll probably have some trivia for you and whatever news is going on in the cruise business. And uh, we'll kind of take it from there. So thanks for joining me today. Have a great evening tonight. Enjoy the start of your weekend. And uh, let's take it from there. I'll see you tomorrow. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thanks for joining me today from good old Creston, British Columbia, June the 1st, 2018. Already June. My goodness, at the end of this month, the year's half gone i'm going to be uh one year anniversary on this channel august the 12th uh so i mean i'm only you know one two months two and a half months away from being one year on youtube oh what a year it has been i've got so many new friends <laughs> thank you all cam is saying i'll see you tomorrow debbie manuel good day everyone have a great weekend blaine Rayleigh, really. see you tomorrow great show bye all and jordan great show bruce i'm i'm cold it's winter so cold see you tomorrow stacy waldup Goodbye, everybody. Randy Lucas, by all. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one. See you tomorrow at 2. Otherwise, I'll see you Monday at 5. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>